should be getting starting to work out. Yeah, should be getting. Oh, damn, it's already recording. Alright, so hello there. I am Pup01. What the hell I pulled that down for? And this is show 6A, and we're redoing the two fist spot chance qualifiers for the KO division. That will be the last two videos of the day. It's these two qualifiers because I had them set to. Well, there was a bunch of shit that happened. The main thing that happened was I had them set for one round instead of three rounds. So, yeah, we got to do them both over. Also, with the first qualifier, I had it set to the wrong arena as usual, but as I already said, that doesn't really matter. Then the second one, instead of being a tournament, it was a freaking league, but that didn't really matter either, because I'll still be able to find who was going to face off who with the finals. But, the main problem was, instead of being two rounds, it was only one round. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, let's just jump right into this. As you know, these are the rules. Yada yada yada. We are doing the first fist try chance qualifier for K Division over again. And let me turn off that, the sound. So let's hurry up with this. So we have three minutes and we have three points. One point for takedown. Give up is turned off. Blood stoppage. We have time decisions turned on. Bell save is turned off quick matches turned on takedowns are free Tart, um we turned off the rope escapes god damn it, why i'm so slow at this all right and two rounds actually two rounds now all right and it's mma rules and we're getting ready to get started once i make sure it's set to the hardest difficulty and enjoy the first bout Bullshit that I fucked up so badly with all this. Cause like the thing is like Bartel actually beat him, but it was only one round. But like the thing is, all reason I'm my redoing all of them is because nobody managed to get all three knockdowns. But this was this basically was um he won on decision though. I think it was what two to two or whatever when the bell rang, because it was only for one round. Yeah. And then the other one, Masawa actually managed to win that one. You know, and stuff like that. But I'm going to stop talking about what what um is irrelevant because it was not the correct turns for the matchup. Now look at this. Oh my god. Alright. Just enjoy. One, two, three. What I'm saying is it was fucked up because the matches were competitive and they was all enjoyable. But the thing is because they were set to only one round, like, we didn't get to see the full stand of the match. But nobody managed to score three knockdowns, so, like, nobody's really getting cheated in me, like, we started. But, like, it's just that the first round of all those fights were good, you know. Hopefully, with this redo, it's just as good. That's all I was trying to say. Alright, back to the match.
this is So as I said before I started with this, um, we already did the grappling division, but I had to redo these because while doing the grappling division fifth spot chance qualifier, I realized that I had those set to one round when they were supposed to be set to two. So that's why we're doing that one over. These two over, I should say. Yeah. And I believe if you want to find out why I'm doing them over, after the first match was done with the first fist spot chance qualifier for the grappling division, so the first fist spot chance qualifier and the fist spot chance qualifier number one for the grappling division. After that first match in that video, I uh, um, showed that there was only set for one round and stuff like that, and how the first fist spot chance qualifier had them um, in. The um, Tokyo Dome with the ramp, and then the second one I had it set for a league instead of um, tournament. Yeah. So yeah, that's all in the first fifth spot, the fifth spot chance qualifier number one for the um, fifth spot chance qualifier for number one, not number one, but one for the um, grapple division for show six A. All right, let's get back to this because thank God this was just as entertaining. So like, I ain't really get rid of nothing so far. Like back to being dead even and like, oh, it's gonna still go to the decision, but it look like Tari Rail is gonna end up winning this because Matt Barton. I thought it was Burton, but it's actually Barton. He has, um, because the thing I got on here, like, it has people's names on it from the, what's that crap called? From the Game Frags for translates to English. But it got Burton, it got U instead of A for his name. And then I, I think it got a couple of the other names wrong and shit like that. So, like, I gotta check that crap out. Because, like,. And just look up and see if those are the real names and stuff. But I'm glad I put his right name on there instead of putting Burton like it said. Oh. Uh oh. Can he make the comeback? Can he get another knockdown? He's going to need probably two. I don't think he's winning a decision. You know. I don't think Burton was going to win a decision. Or Matt. I just call him Mike B. You know, because his name is Mike Burton. So just call him Mike B. And then you got Mike Awesome. And I just call him Awesome. You know, for like the little short nickname or whatever. This is just Awesome. 
Okay. Congrats. God damn it. Last time he got the upset. But they only went one round, so that didn't really matter. Alright, moving on to the next one. Enjoy. And Masa and guess what? Masa was actually the one who won this. You know, back when it was just that one round. He was the one who actually won this whole fucking this whole qualifier. You know? And I think he managed to get two knockdowns in this one. And I think he got all three knockdowns. Did he get all three knockdowns in the third one? I, I don't know. I think not. Probably did. God damn it, man. I'm stuck talking about it. Hopefully he can do a repeat. Masao wins this and he did I think he probably did get all three knockdowns in the final match he's not gonna be facing the same person so that again it's not really messing with nothing if he does make it to the finals you know but whatever I did wrong I did wrong you know ain't nothing to do about it just can't keep on making those type of mistakes I gotta make sure I do what I just did for the grappling division and our idea for the um the set setting up the matches for the for this one for the redo i gotta make sure i got the rules already set before i start recording like you know not set them up as i'm recording but already have it already set up because that way these type of issues don't happen you know and everything just set up and i said i wasn't going to do the freaking whole you know tell you what the rules are and shit like that. But I just feel like I should do that because it's more than one qualifier. And that just, it doesn't take up much time and like, you know, to get intro. get my mind off that so I'm gonna talk during this match one of the things that I don't understand is like if you if you play any of the Super Nintendo games for like the for the um, wrestling particularly I forget what it's called but um I think it's called Nippon um you know pro wrestling or something like that I think that's what it's called Two, three to four, something. It's a Super Nintendo wrestling game, and like it had, I think what it was only like 19 characters on. No, I think it was more than 19. I think it was 20 of them on there. Yeah, may have been 20. No, it was 19 characters because I remember doing a 16-man tournament, and I did a fail four-way with 
for the lesser unknown wrestlers in that tournament or whatever like that. Yeah. I did a battle royale with those four. Yeah. But I was saying, oh yeah, they have moves on there that like they're not even featured on this game. Like, why isn't there like, like for example, the weak grab? Like you got the weak grab where you press grab and you press grab again, and like you do like the multiple shins to the face or whatever, where you just hold a face down. It's one of the moves that um I got with switch kick, and I believe um K Wilder uses it as well. But like, why isn't the one, the other one on there? And that's a move that I think um, Masawa uses, where you um, you push their head down and then you do an axe kick to the back of the head. Like, why is that not on there as a weak grab? Or, or elbow to the back of the head while they're standing up, or just any moves that like, don't necessarily have to knock them down every time you touch them and stuff like that. Why are there not moves like that on the game? Where you don't knock them down, but you like stagger them back or something, or you just daze them with a move and stuff. Like why that type of stuff is not on here? But I realize how old this the game is. But I'm not talking about no moves that are not feature on games that are way older than this game when this game came out. You know, like why didn't feature more stuff that was. And it wasn't like you ain't you ain't got the animation ability to pull those moves off. Good knockdown. Well, he's making his way back to the finals, I believe, if he can hang on. Or he could just get the third knockdown. Look like he gonna end up winning this match right here. That kick kept on 11. But I don't understand why the game didn't have certain strikes on here already as like knockdown damage. Like, cause it doesn't make no sense to me. Like, spinning back elbow, why does that not do knockdown damage? Or the jumping, the jumping spinning side kick. Or the tornado kick. Why does that not do knockdown damage? You know? Like certain moves just it makes no type of sense. Like they got certain moves on here that just make no sense that they don't do knockdown damage while others do. And the jumping axe kick, like there's literally a move, the jumping axe kick that's on here, and the regular axe kick does knockdown damage, but the jumping one doesn't. And that just seems like what in the world is up with that? Like, why wouldn't that do knockdown damage as well? Yeah. But that's my plan. Like, if I ever able to do that, like, or have money to, like, start creating my own games, or if I ever, like, just learn how to create them and just do stuff from scratch, that's what I would want to do. I would want no profit from it or nothing. I just would want it be an online game and be easily accessible for anybody it'll be just called virtual pro wrestling online you know because like some of the moves I would like to add on here is death lift moves besides the German suplex you can do the death lift um because you got on here you got two of them one of them is with the first the the um the opponent is face down laying on the ground and that's the, um, when you're by the head, that's the gut wrench death lip suplex. And then you got the one that's when you're grabbing them by their feet when they're face down, laying on the ground. And that's the death lip um, German suplex. But also the death lip power bomb, the big swing, you know, those sort of things and stuff like that. And just death lifting somebody off the ground, period. And the slingshot, I think it's called, where you just grab them by their legs and you try to pick and you just launch them behind you. Grab them by the legs and you launch them behind you. Alright, here come the finals. I'm going to stop talking now.
also something else I I would add to a game like this would be um I thought um what was it called the Giant Ground 2000 All Japan Pro Wrestling 3 I thought like added like that would like as far as like the health system for the body but like they just do percentages and stuff like that and, like I never seen anybody reach like a hundred percent for any of the limbs but there's a different game and I forget what it's called it's called Guard Guard Road Den Guard Road Den um Break Breakpoint Yeah and it yeah it's called Breakpoint um Fist or twist, like it's a fighting game or whatever like that. And I really like the way like they do like the um stuff for like head and body damage, and head, body, arms and leg damage and stuff like that. And like I think that'll be extra good and stuff like that. Cause like it's a fighting game that works on like like that's one of the ways you can help yourself win the matches by targeting certain limbs and stuff like that because like basically what it is it's like it's a momentum based fighting game where like like once the momentum like you can have not damaged really nothing on the person at all but once you like push somebody to the um their bar to the um it's like a little bar meter thing that it's like a tug of war and like the person who pushes the other ones for all the way to the stopping point they win the match automatically and stuff like that. I believe I know how to spell it though. I'll probably show it on YouTube right quick or look it up right quick on YouTube when this is when this match is all said and done. Right quick. To show you what I'm talking about. Is this the first round? Yeah, this is definitely the first round because it's only it started what twenty minutes? Twenty one minutes I believe. Yeah, so this is definitely the first round. Good match so far. He ain't gonna be able to get his finisher off. Running out of time. Uh, like that. Like that back elbow right there. Like why can't that be a move in the game or be one of the other ways you can get released from a back grab like there should be a weak one for like the weak grab and there should be one for the um for um strong grapples and stuff like that. And just automatically make them separate. Cause like just having them like always everything is a knockdown or not necessarily a knockdown I should say, but have everything as something that well drops a drop down like drop you to the ground everything drops you to the ground with the strikes and stuff like that with the grabbing strikes like the slap to the face knocks you all the way down to the ground even though it didn't like probably hurt the character at all you know it still like drops you all the way down to the ground and the eye rake as well like why some moves should just be just to touch someone and other moves should be like to irritate or daze or confuse the opponent you know it should be just all the crap that it, it really does on this game you know oh and rage what's what's his name rage that I created and devastation I finally, um, I screen recorded it because somebody padded it on YouTube of the two people they are based off of from a movie. Some people probably already know what movie I'm talking about, but as far as like one of the characters is concerned, but um, well, no, nobody probably do know, but um, what was they, what was the movie called? Oh yeah, um, Undisputed 3 Redemption. It was a MMA fighting based movie or martial arts martial arts tournament prison fighting martial arts tournament with um prisons prisoners fighting for their freedom or whatever like that and like Rage is based off of 
Raul Quiones, or his nickname is Dor Dor the Pain, and then another one is Yuri Boyka, the most complete fighter in the world. Yeah, like I got recorded on there was my favorite two fights, and it wasn't none. Of the, it wasn't the final fight or none of that. They was basically both of their um, you know, their first round fights in the tournament or whatever, where they just destroyed their opponents and. Speaking of getting destroyed, he needs two knockdowns. Can he do it? Not with him getting grabbed like that. Unless he could counter a punch. Or a kick. Or something. Come on. Him and them damn axe kicks. God damn. Good for him, but like still, like... Like, I don't know how they... I don't know how sometimes... Certain moves, like, should I'm actually, like, done a ton of damage to someone's arm. Even if it's from a... That type of stance, like that, that, that damn ass kick, like that, a freaking lead is coming down hard, like down your arm over and over again. Oh. All right, I can. I don't want to misquote myself. Alright, so yeah. Terrell Tarrell or Ter Terrell or what however you want to pronounce his name or whatever, he has won the first fifth spot chance qualifier for the KO division. Congrats to him. He is moving on to the fifth spot chance for show six B. And that'll be fist by chance number I mean show six six C. Six B is um a ranked match between the fifth spot and the and the wild card. Uh, and the top and the number one contenders matches between the hunter and the number one contender. Yeah. That Oh shit. Damn it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Let me see. Can I just do it like... And who was that who won? That was that was him, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was just talking about him. He won. He definitely won. Alright, I'll do this right quick. Fuck. Can't believe that happened again. Alright. Now I set the free... And well, uh, let's put it on easy. No. Ah, come on. There we go. Ah, oh, fuck. Try to make sure it's on the easy. Even if it's on normal, I would probably like not do as well as I should. <laughs> Which is sad. Like that's just how this game works. So, like I know that the. The, the um that strike to the body is I'm not gonna be able to perform that at all unless I press both of these at the same oh damn I did it wrong again anyway oh no cause I'm supposed to be in the match that's what's Stupid. I still put it on one. Still put it on computer versus. Damn, damn it. Still put it wrong. I uh, hate when I make these mistakes. That's because I didn't screenshot it. Nothing was wrong with the term at all. I just didn't screenshot it. That's all that happened. That's the only thing I did wrong. I didn't screenshot who won. And when you do the leak, when you do this, you can unmaggy like. Showcase it or whatever like that. Oh wait. Damn it. I should have did tournament. I should have did tournament, man. Or better yet, I should do league. Yeah, because this is gonna show it like he was part of team and crap, yeah. So I should do league. Yeah, I'm actually gonna do league then.
Cause if I do tournament, I'm gonna have to do go through two matches and stuff. God damn it. Uh, I'll showcase what I was talking about in the next one. Can drop both of them. Wait, god damn it! Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me, man! I swear to God, game, I hate you so fucking bad. Hate you so bad right now. I swear, I I just don't know what the fuck to do anymore. Fucking up the whole damn thing over and over again. Cause this that was gonna take ten minutes. Cause I wasn't there gonna be able to get the finish. And no, let's take that off. I don't want to get accidentally tapped out by a weak ass computer. Cause that happened with me when I was like doing like the um career mode and shit like that. Like I was uh I forget who I was trying to unlock. I was trying to lock I think it was Smashing Machine. I was trying to lock um Mark Kerr and like oh you can I forgot to put it on there. Damn it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay. Please. Please. Yes! The crap one won. Thank you. Alright, I ain't have to play at all. Good. Come on, you gotta be fucking kidding me. That's good enough. God damn it. This game should go to hell, man. Go to hell. Let me just go out of this game. Because I, I really... Ah. Uh, what is wrong with this? Somebody's on, somebody's on the phone call. Alright, so, yeah, that ends it. And the second one will be coming up soon. Until then, later. Sorry for all of this. And I know viewers... If you knew what you were doing, you would stop the video sooner. I'm going to have to do it in the next video. Show you the game I was talking about in the next video. Till then, later.